second day in a row here, Russia is launching airstrikes on Syria from air bases in none other than Iran. Uh, you know, and there are a lot of questions as to what this means, this alliance here between these two countries, Iran and Russia. Um, you know, they've hardly been friends to us, but you know, think about it. We are now living in a world uh, that's very different than anything we have known before. In fact, the only real analogy you might be able to make is to World War II. You know, when we had to make friends with some folks we might otherwise not be friendly with. Joseph Stalin, we made friends with him and we fought the Nazis together. We made friends because we needed to fight a common enemy. And sometimes, you know, maybe you don't like it, but you got to say for the good of the world, we're going to have alliances that maybe otherwise we would not have had. Joining me on this story, famed investigative reporter and Fox News contributor Judith Miller, alongside, of course, Mike Baker, still here. Uh, Judy, good to see you. What do you think about this? I mean, could we actually partner with the likes of Vladimir Putin to take down ISIS together? Look, Trish, I think we have to work with the Russians and we have to work with whomever is willing to fight ISIS together. But there's a difference between working with the Russians and letting them define the new world order in the Middle East, letting them establish so many assets and troops and capability on the ground that we don't have any options. And that's where we're headed right now mm -hmm. with these uh, flights out of an Iranian air base. Why are you so scared by those? Why am I so scared? Yeah. Because for Vladimir Putin, the relationship with the United States is a zero-sum game. If we win, he loses. And if he wins, he wants See, to make sure we I don't sure know. I, kind of, I just think we're thinking about this all wrong. I think we are living in a different day and age. And it's not a zero-sum game, at least not when it comes to national security. Putin needs to protect his people. We need to protect ours. We have a common a common thread there. Can't we work with it, Mike? Well, sure. As long as we're uh, pragmatic and we understand that his agenda and his interests in no way align with ours, it's just not going to happen. Except that I mean, we want to get rid of ISIS. Well, there is that, but you know, in part for different reasons, and in part he's cementing his position, obviously, with Syria. Look, the, the, the ties with Iran now, the fact that they're, they're flying military operations out of Iran is unprecedented. Iran has more influence in the Middle East than they've had since modern times. So does Russia. Russia has struck military deals with Egypt. They haven't had a relationship with Egypt since the Nasser days. With Iraq, of all places, Iraq now. Um, obviously, you know, their involvement in Syria, they're not going to give up their, the only port for the Black Sea. Yeah, the, the, only, the only point I keep coming back to is we need to find a way to get the Iranians, the Saudis, the Russians, us, all of Europe on board against this threat. Together, we're stronger. Judith. Good to see you, oh. Mike. We'll see you soon.